I hope that you had a good weekend. It was probably better than Garrett Bowles' weekend. The NFL leader in holding penalties had four more called on him Sunday. The mile high crowd booed him mercilessly. I cracked some jokes. Maybe you did too. Here's the deal. For most people, your worst day at work is not going to be televised. For those of us who have signed up for a business like that, we get it is part of the deal. But there's also a difference between being bad at your job and being a bad guy. The NFL has both. And if you hold on to one thing as tightly as Bowles gripped Khalil Mack to keep him from the quarterback, hold on to this. Garrett Bowles is not a bad guy. He could have been raised around drugs and, and gangs and violence. He's struggling in school. He got kicked out of his house. But Garrett Bowles held on to hope of a better life, a happy home, professional success. He held on with such determination, he made it happen for himself. Garrett Bowles became a man of faith, a family man, a dad, a first round NFL draft pick, a starting left tackle in the National Football League. Only the last of those things can ever be taken away from Garrett Bowles. It may be that he is not one of the 32 best left tackles in the world. So be it. That would not be the worst thing to ever happen to Garrett Bowles. Not even close. Away from the game of football, Garrett Bowles is holding on to what really matters.